Ain't No Half Step on Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio. Some folks don't ever need to be around a hot mic. Uh, that would be Big Rube because he just did something weird. Thankfully, I hadn't turned the mic on before he did it. Ain't No Half Step with Marcus J. is sponsored by Live Action Captions. We just heard a spot from them. As well as Free Spirit Enterprises, we'll hear a spot from them momentarily. We appreciate everybody that is listening to us. Thank you to those folks that are listening to the show right now on TuneIn. Thank you to the folks that are listening to the show right now on Streamer. And, of course, very special thank you to those folks that are listening to the replays right now on YouTube as well as on iTunes. Y'all rocking with us? We rolling with y'all. We appreciate it. Special, special, special thank you to our sisters, Jane and Diana. We just lost them, and we appreciate them sharing with us in the last segment the differences between psychics and mediums. Uh, And, of course, we had a couple of readings. Shout out to Stephanie and shout out to Rosa uh, and shout out to Lawana as well. And Kaz called in that segment as well. Uh, shout out to our sister Michelle K. She checked in with us a little while ago. I had had an opportunity to get Michelle K. in, but we we saw your comment earlier, uh, Michelle K. So we know you there. Much love to you. It's time to take a walk around the round table, and it's time for Big Rube to lead us in that walk. Big Rube, Mike is yours, and the floor is yours, my brother. What you got? How's everything going, Big Rube? Once again, another week on the round table, but I believe we have a caller. I, I lost, I lost, I lost oh, the call. We lost quick. caller. Lost call, call back. Call a call back. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So the round table is pretty much what I want to talk about. Usually accompanied with some news, but the one thing I want to talk about to begin this. I don't know if Mark J has already talked about this. If you have, I apologize. However, two basketball players who play for the L.A. Lakers have decided that they want to videotape everything. But the problem is, you shouldn't videotape. Everything. And Nick Young of the Los Angeles Lakers was videotaped by his partner um, in crime, the point guard, the rookie point guard for the Lakers, whose name actually escapes me right now. D'Angelo. D'Angelo. And, well, he got him recording something a little questionable. Apparently, in the conversation, he asked Nick Young, if he be rep, he be repping with other chicks. Now, for those of you who do not know, Nick Young is engaged with rapper Izzy, Iggy Azalea. So, so apparently in this video, he decided to let everybody. He decided to let D'Angelo know that, yeah, he messes with chicks from time to time, and somehow the video got leaked. <laughs> so, and then. In further news, Iggy Azalea actually told D'Angelo, thank you, basically. Appreciate it for the video. So the question here is, who is wrong in all of this? Let's start with the QB from RIC. Who is really wrong in this? Who, who, who messed up the world in this right now? <clears throat> Being the real female that I am, I don't know what the world you're talking about right now, sir. Uh, so is this, is this, is, I heard Iggy, is this about sports? Sports and entertainment. I don't like Iggy. I don't know who she's engaged to, so both of them are irrelevant well, her, anyway. She is, she is engaged to an uh, NBA basketball player named Nick Young, plays for the Lakers, and he was caught videotaped. Basically saying that he be messing with other chicks. Whoa, hold up. Rewind. Messing with other chicks. Yeah. Yeah. And it, what'd she say about that? Well, I mean, she really hasn't said anything, but thanks for, first. you know, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for the, for the video. She really don't care. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm about to preach to y'all real quick in about one quick minute, six or seconds, and go. <clears throat> I love everybody, but I'm going to just keep it real right now just to say that she don't give a goddamn because he's in the NBA and he gets money anyway. And that's what they do. They take all our brothers, but as soon as she catch them, for real, for real, screw the video. They don't have that, that, that 
that commitment yet. They haven't walked down the aisle and said, dun, 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 dun. So once they do that and then she sees some proof, she she can get half. That's what Eddie Murphy said in Raw. Half, yep, Eddie. She ain't. Half. So therefore, right now, she don't care because. Okay, baby, we can work it out. Exactly. <laughs> Booyah. In the store right now, he ain't going. He can't. He he ain't not in a position to pull up a prenup because he already cheated. So Boom. you can't give me no prenup at this point. We walking down his aisle. Uh, boo. You know what? <laughs> he can't. Uh, hey, let me tell you. I'm like Uncle no Phil right prenup. now for real. I'm like Jazz. We about to throw Iggy Azalea up, 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 up out here. Everybody who messed up was your boy. First of all, and I'm gonna just put this. And, and I'm not saying you me. Hold up. The views of Big Bro Joe do not <laughs> represent the views of Legacy Internet Radio or Marcus J. He got to put a disclaimer on yeah. his statement. Yep, because this is how it goes. First of all, we not going to put no video. Well, I take that back. These are children, isn't it, Marcus J? These are kids, right? Yeah, 20. Yeah, I mean, it's, so. D'Angelo is 19 and Nick oh, is like 30. Okay, so He's like 30. wait a minute, hold up. You said 30 and 19? Yes, sir. It okay, so hey, first now. of all, you got a grown-ass man hanging with a kid. And they do they, this but, all the but, time. But, but what I will say, just to make sure that we're clear, yes. they're teammates in an M, in, on an NBA team. Okay. So but I, you and I have been teammates for the better part of 20 to 25 years, and we have never thought about videotaping each other doing numbers because, first of all, we don't want evidence. Lord, no. <laughs> Shh, don't, don't nobody do, do, do. need to see that. Yeah, what we have done in the past. We're not but it's not. It's, it's two years between us, not nine or no, 12 no, no. You're right, you're right, you're right. But still, we think about it like this. Whatever we do, we do. Yeah. Not saying that we done done nothing. Hold up, disclaimer again. But I'm saying the whole thing in a nutshell is if you the older, you 30 years old, you should be thinking, you know, way ahead of the game. First of all, your career is almost over. <laughs> so you need to be saying, I'm not going to get caught up with some stupidness. And you should never, ever put yourself out there on blast. But see, that's, once again, I'm a grown man, so I think about not doing stuff. Shout out to our brother, Hakeem. Hakeem is checking in. He's actually not able to listen right now. He's telling me. But he wants to make sure that he knows that, that, that we know that he's thinking about us during the live show and he's going to catch the replay. So, Hakeem, when you listen to the replay, you hear us giving you your shout out. 502, baby, thank you for checking us out. You know, here's, here's the thing. Here's my thought on it. And then, Big Rube, you can send this around the room. I'm going to jump in here. You know, there's a thing called man code. You know, and ladies, I'm sure y'all got your own code. I ain't chick, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what your code is. I'm sure you got one, and it is what it is. But there's a thing called man code, and what man code states is that when you are two years old and your best friend, who's three, just stole something from out the the cupboard, you ain't supposed to snitch on. Them. You you're not. You two years old. You already know that you ain't supposed to like when John John. And, you know, and I mean, this is a real story. If you know Marcus J., you know it's a real story. You know, my cousin, John John, you know, who's a year younger than me, John John said the F word. And, you know, all the older cousins came to me. They was like, yo, go tell Aunt Marie what John John said. You know, I was like, you know, I was like four. And I was like, I knew not to snitch on John John already. You know, that's my boy. Yeah, but snitches also get stitches. But I mean, but there's a difference between snitching and not and, and just holding down your boy. There's a True. there's a difference. You didn't hear me down there, the there's, whole there's, a, there's a difference. And one of the things that you don't do is you don't record your homeboy and don't allow your homeboy's recording to get out. Ain't no half step with Marcus J. I'm gonna finish this thought on the other side. We got a caller that takes precedent. Call it what your name is. Where you calling from? Danielle calling from Richmond. Danielle calling from Richmond. What's up, Danielle? What's up? What's going on? What you want to get in on? Oh, I was trying to see if I could get my cards ready. All right. Well, we'll go ahead. Okay, we'll we'll we'll, yeah. we'll we'll take a shift real quick. Shana, you still here? Yeah, Ashley, you still, still here? here? Ashley's definitely here. All right. So rock with Danielle. Danielle, can you tell me your birthday in month? My birthday month is July. July what, babe? July 19th. Okay. All right, give me a second. Let me connect to you. Um, wow. We're getting a lot for you. And she writes down a whole bunch of notes. She I'm just a scribbling. I'm an automatic writer, so she I just write a, what the Spirit's telling me. She's you. just a scribbling. Okay. 
Do you have a specific what? question you were asking? Because your um your mind is kind of all over the place a little bit. You're kind of nervous, and I can feel that energy. Danielle. Yes, ma'am. Still there? Do you have a specific question? No, ma'am. I do not. Okay. So I'm gonna ask my spirit guys for your highest good. Ashley has something to say to you. Go ahead, talk, no, Ashley. Was, say it. I mean, I was just sensing, <clears throat> just from where you are, just from where you are in life, that um, possibly you came out of a period of change very soon. Uh, you know, recently, maybe uh, within a year or two ago, um, you came into an, uh, some sort of change. Maybe came out of a hostile situation. Maybe not necessarily hostile, but something that you didn't have to deal with before. Um, I get the sense that you are or will soon be taking a class or a course or some sort of new information is going to come up to you um, if it hasn't already. Does any of that make sense? Does that resonate yeah. with you? Does that resonate? Okay. All right. So, um, honestly, you you are really, <laughs> you called as a skeptic a little bit, too, um, also. So, I picked up on that energy. But um, you really... It's, it's, it's your time. Like, you're about to really achieve um, the goals that you really set yourself to do. You really need to start writing your goals down because once you write them down, that gives it power. You understand what I'm okay. saying? Do you understand what I'm saying, Danielle? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so once you start writing them down and getting them organized, like, you're going to be able to soar and go further with what it is that you want to do. And honestly... Um, you really need to really, um, I'm sorry I keep stopping because they keep talking to me. <laughs> While she's thinking, I feel like, um, you're going to get a new car. Car? I don't know why. That's kind of random. What? <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sorry, anything? Danielle, you you getting a car, Danielle? Car. Well, Danielle. I hope I'm going to get me a new car soon because I need one. Get it, girl. Oh, okay. Well, I, okay. I, feel, I really feel like you're going to get a new car. Right. That resonated yeah. with you. Say what? Are you starting school, Danielle? Because I pulled a couple cars for you, and they're all pertaining to um, achieving and going back to doing something that you used to love. Like, I feel like right. you really got to do something that you love versus something that you like to make money. You that understand? Complete Th sense. That, does that resonate with you? Like, with, okay. Yeah. So the cards that I did pull, I did pull a seven card. And seven is always a number of completion. Okay? So what I'm uh -huh. saying is that you have an issue with completing stuff. So I need you to um, start to complete things, make things go into a circle. Start your schooling and finish it. Do it. Do it okay. for you. You good to go, Danielle? Um, yes, sir. All right. Good deal. <laughs> That's thank about you, all that I was getting. Um, thanks for calling, Danielle. And thank you for supporting me and my team. And, you know, thank you. I just really, my heart just really goes out to everybody that called. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You got it. Thank you, Danielle. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den Legacy Internet Radio. You know, you, you mentioned that you felt um, some skeptic energy there. I hope, I hope very much that Danielle got what she needed. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, that she's going to continue listening. If you are continuing to listen, Danielle, continue listening and call us back if you, if you choose to do that. 804 40228 Nine three is the number to dial. Big Rube, I, we were talking about Nick Young and D'Angelo. I can't remember his 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 last name. They're Lakers. Uh, he's the one that recorded his brother. And as we took the call from Danielle, I guess the point that I was making is, and I was kind of clowning, but the short version is, you know, ladies, I'm sure you guys have whatever code you have, but reality is that's your homeboy. You don't need to be filming him. And this whole thing about I don't know how it got out, That's I, I, call, I call bullshit on that. I really do because every single person, whether you're doing dirt or you're not doing dirt, QB, you are a crazy person with your phone if you leave your phone away from you outside of hand reach for more than 
seven seconds <laughs> you know you completed as you say Shane and then seven is the number of completion seven, you, is. It's seven you've completed a whole heart attack if you've been outside of your phone for more than seven seconds so ain't no way somebody got that man's phone and uploaded it to uh and uploaded it to whatever it was uploaded to but you know what at the end of the day my real friends wouldn't have even recorded it and if it was on my phone they wouldn't have took my phone and, and posted it on any of my social medias if anything the real friends that i have which is my circle since middle school they would have came to me with my phone and said hold up shorty why you got this up in your phone that ain't even cool. You should that shouldn't even went down. And if you seen it there, you should have erased it. So you know, <clears throat> it depends on who you rolling with and who you rocking with. At the end of the day, because I know my female or my male best friends would never do that to me. If anything, they'll check me for seeing that on my phone. Right. But you said friends. Friends, exactly. <laughs> and today, it's a it's that word is so loosely. People meeting people and after a month, oh, that's my friend, that's my girl, that's my boy, you know, that's my homie. You really don't even know these people. You don't know their family. Real friends know your family. Your, their mama know you, their mama and everything else. And, they, you know, you've been around and you can come in the crib and go in the refrigerator. It's yeah. no problems. That's a real can't friend. Go in there you can't girl. do that. It's too, the, the word is too loosely. And that's the problem with this society right now. Everybody's not your friend. Everybody is not your friend. And obviously in this situation... Those people who did that to him is not his friend. Shana, you was going to say something? Oh, I just want to say, Danielle, please call me back or hit my inbox. As a matter of fact, hit the inbox because I know I think you want to talk about your father, your dad. That's what I'm getting. So please hit my inbox if you're my friend on Facebook. If you're listening to me, if you call back, please call me back because I got something to say to you. Uh, so, Danielle, if you're still listening... Uh, Shane, it feels like there was some unfinished, unfinished business in the conversation. So make sure that you hit us back here at Legacy Internet Radio so that we can make sure uh, that we uh, that we finish. Uh, I'm sorry, somebody showing me something, so I got a little bit distracted. But Danielle, make sure that you get with us or you get with Shana so that she can make sure that she finishes with you. Joe, wh what do we have here? I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry, Marcus J. But, you know, we got Neek checking in. She, You know, she was listening to the show. And she was just speaking on what we just talked about. She was like, yo, he was hating on him. That's lower than low to post a video. Like, that's just straight scandalous. So yeah. once again, like we've already said it, yo, check the people who you around because everybody is not your friend. Just because they call you your friend, you better watch what you got because a lot of your friends will stab you in the back. Absolutely. I agree with that 100 percent but from what i'm understanding is the guy who posted the video he was not a fan favorite of that entire team that entire team was having issues with him and so we confined and calling friend friend to my understanding i don't even know neither one of these boys names but the cheater didn't really assume that the other guy was his friend i think they were just teammates that were bunking up on a away game my problem is um they felt comfortable enough, he felt comfortable enough to share that information with his teammate. And that may be where the line is. We're in, we're in a culture now where people don't even really need to be discreet about their mess. They just throw it out there to people that they're not really even close with. I remember a time if a man was stepping out, he wouldn't really tell nobody. That stuff would be all the way under the rug. And the same with a woman. But now you just talking to people. It's like we don't, we don't even care. Don't care no we don't even care no more. That's my side, Jay. And so that's what, yes. yes. That's what, so they that's introduce them to the, the family and everything, girl. Yes. What the family so know who it is? People, there's enough blame to pass around. But my issue is if you know as an adult, you know who is for you and who's not. You know who's on your team and who's not. Not at 19 years old. Maybe not as 19 years old, but you in the world of you in the NBA where I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know. I, you, I, you know, the, the, you, I guess you know. the only the only thing that I'll you say. Know. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The only thing that I will say to that is, you know, again, I'm not a woman, uh, so I don't. I, I, I'm not going to profess to understand whatever code that you have as a woman. But as a man, there are certain things that you should know. And it is absolutely never, and I'm going to say this real clear, because QB kind of mentioned this a minute ago, never an appropriate time to record your homeboy and he don't know. 
it's never okay. It's never cool. It's never cool. And so if you do it and then the recording gets out because of some kind of situation that is uncontrolled by you, guess what? It's controlled by you, like for real. And so real talk, if Nick Young would punch this boy in his face, I don't think there's anybody in the league or anybody – you know, that would have a problem with it. He would have been 100% justified completely punching this dude in his face. And I don't advocate violence Stop. ever but for any reason you, except for that one. You, I, need I, some, I, I need some clarification. I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't. need some clarification because maybe I'm misunderstanding this story. So two NBA players, I got that. But you telling me that one of them was 19 years old? One of them was 19, the one, one of them is 30. The one that leaked this show that was 19. And how old is the other brother? 30. 30. 30. A grown so, age. so that's that's the problem that I have. The 19 you as a 30-year-old man. You a 30-year-old man confiding a 19-year-old, and you Bowen. think that that's but you know, okay? But you know what, though? I'm sorry. I, I, you an adult, I don't, baby. I, don't, I, don't, I do not he, pity you. Here's where I don't think that's relevant, though. Uh, I, here's where I don't think that's relevant. Um, you know, I, when we're talking about teammates, you know, like if I had a brother who was 12 years older than me, you know, I don't think that it's out of the norm for my brother and I to share. And when you're teammates <laughs> and you spend more time with your team than you do with your own family, you know, the lines of how old you are can get very blurred. easily get blurred. get blurred. And so, I mean, and I respect where you're coming from, but I don't think how old they are is relevant. I mean, that's part of the story, so you got to tell it. But I, I guess the piece that I'm stuck on, and no one's co signed this, and I'm not sure why, but as men, you know, I told a story about I was four years old, and I didn't snitch on John John. No, you know no, what I no, mean? But, like, but you this, know. This you you, you you know. This society, I'm not trying to be funny, kings and queens, and I say it all the time, but in this society right now, some men don't even know that they're men. Yeah. Some young I'm brothers from, don't even know that I'm they're brothers. From a, yeah. Some queens don't know they're queens. Some kings don't know they're kings because of everything they're doing is, 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 is on the television and they're following it. Yeah. They don't have any guidance from the home. And I said it before, I'm young, but I'm about to be 35. It's like I'm the last generation standing with some sense. Because I remember, yeah, I looked at everything on TV, but my mom already, and I, I heard what was going on in the home, but my mom always told me, you don't repeat what's going on in this house. You don't do everything you see. And you 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 do what I say, not as I do. You know what I'm saying? So right now at this time, you got little boys running around with, with jeans on looking like leggings. And their yeah. parents, you can't blame them because their parents are buying it. I do not like they don't that. have any money. The girls don't have no money. They're looking like thoughts. Their parents thinking it's cute. So we don't have any guidance like that going on right now. Mm. Their, their guidance is the radio and the videos. And what we hear on the radio, you, you don't even hear Kendrick Lamar all day. We're going to be all right. All you hear all day is work, 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 work. And you, gotta, you hear Fetty Wap all day. And you like hear... Future all day, I, you know, he, he's scoring chicks and, and look how he doing his baby mama in the media and they think it's cool. Yeah. And they talking about Sierra because she engaged to Russell, a good brother. But they, they, they calling out her body count. But what about future body count having babies while she had her baby with him? He hitting chicks in the DM and y'all following this. We don't have any guidance. No. I, 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 I wish you had passed the mic on. And why they over I, here disagreeing with Curry? Keep, I, I wanted you to keep on going. No, actually, you know what? Uh, hey, hold up, hold up, Ashley. Hold up, Ashley. Make that point and tell everybody who, Ash, uh, who Aisha Curry is. I know who she is, yep. but I had to look up when I started seeing in social media. I didn't know who she was. So tell that story. Why everybody trashing Aisha Curry? I love Aisha Curry. I love her to death. Why everybody who, trashing her? Who's her husband? Stephon, Ste Stephen Curry, Curry. Of, the, of the Golden State like Warriors. That. The I thing like that bothers yes. me, I'm going to tell you something about I her. I like her, though. I love She's her. I love her. She's a She's classic. Classy, but you want to know, so she is unapologetic for who she is. Yep. And, right. and that's why I love her. But we sit around and we really do praise people like Amber Rose and uh, insert name here. And I'm going to be real. I love Amber Rose, too. I love Black China, too. I love Michelle Obama. I love, I love all any all woman who is completely unapologetic for who they are. Be them, I get feel, money. There's absolutely no reason for you to apologize for being who you are. And I, Naomi Campbell, we can make a list. But the thing that bothers me is when somebody tries to be a little positive 
we got to tear them all the way down. And I'm going to yeah. be real legit with you. Aisha Curry, it. hands down, has what 99% of all women up in this country want. You can hate all you want to. She but that heifer is money and a man who loves her, number Eight one. Five. Two who fine. Three who ain't cheating. Four who come home Take care every kids. night. She does not have to sit around with your powwow sipping Cuervo with no chase to talk about my man, man ain't home. Her. Cause she got a man who's home, baby. <laughs> he goes, he and not only is he a good man, he's a darn good man who can shoot baskets. I don't even <laughs> like basketball, but trust and believe at the Crocus spot when he's playing, the ball stops. Because yeah. he will shoot a ball from far across the room. And you can tell me once, you can tell me twice, but I know this much. Every man that play in that court want to be him. Yeah. And he got a beautiful girl who got two beautiful kids. And his, her man is there. It's and a lot she of hatred. Be dressing. She don't and be she wearing be all that crazy. It's a lot of hatred. It's a lot of hatred. She's was a, a woman. That's cool. That's cool. It ain't cool, really. It's bad. You know, I will say this and then we'll move on. Because this came... This this went from didn't see that coming. Yeah, this went from the Actually. Lakers all the way to the Warriors. So it's still in California. Yeah, true that, true that. <laughs> the biggest thing is, you know, who is truly at fault? Nick Young's truly Nick at fault. Nick Young, amen. Say it again. Because <laughs> it's this thing called plausible deniability. If you will put is, your though. friend or anybody else in a situation that could possibly get you in trouble. You are setting them. You are setting them up to be bad. You are setting yourself up for disaster. It is called plausible deniability. The less you know, the less you can lie. No, the less you can testify to. Testify, lie, whatever. Church. I mean, that's and that's real. Now we're going on to subject two. When candy gets you twenty years of jail. What? Who what? Who what? Candy. candy. Stealing candy gets you twenty years in jail. See, I can't even talk about this court system. What's in that? New Orleans, a man is facing a possible twenty years of, twenty years to life in prison. What Candy's like fourteen and he's twenty one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You get on my nerves, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> he's thirty four. He stole thirty one dollars worth of candy. Thirty one dollars. That's a lot. We had a sugar too. <laughs> However, what happened was he pleaded not guilty, of course, because he didn't get caught with the candy he stole. Never that. Evidence. No, that's I'm joking. I'm being sarcastic. Oh. So the New Orleans Parish prosecutors chose to charge crime, Grimes under a statute that boosts the alleged candy theft to a felony. It applies to those who've been convicted of, convicted of theft of goods at least twice before. Okay. He has five prior theft convictions, making him a quad offender under the state's habitual offender law. So he stole four things back in the day. He stole thirty one dollars worth of candy. Now this dude doing gonna about to do twenty in life. Yo, isn't that a three time <laughs> that's three strikes, right? That's a four time loser. This is number five. Yeah, that's three strikes. Yeah, he I don't done. care what you do, it's just a felony. He done. He done. So the question is that I have for the panel. What is the best candy that you have ever stolen? And don't lie, say you ain't never stole candy. Can I tell you? Yeah. Back when I was about nine years old. Yeah. When they still had penny candy. Yeah. I had some Chico sticks. The yeah, big ones. Yeah, no. dog. The big ones. Not them little ones. Oh, they got yeah, now. yeah. The Chico sticks and used to be BB the bomb. Bats. I don't know if y'all know what BB Bats is, but. I don't know what BB Bats Y'all don't know what BB Bats are? Yo, I'm, I'm the only old head around here. You must be. Never heard of it. Yo, really? You going to do that? I like Ashley Age, bro. <laughs> oh, darn. So I should be thinking what I'm thinking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, man. I I, don't, I know what Chico sticks are. Okay, now Those are good. BB bats. Yeah, I don't know what the BB bats are. I can't roll with Candy you know cigarettes, you know. I know. Yeah, I remember Boston those. Baked Beans. Yep. I ain't going to tell no lie. Yeah, I had some. But I got them off the, the you know, the you little didn't truck. Steal them, did you, yes, bro? sir. Yes, sir. I was good at my shit. I know that's right. <laughs> I was the fat kid. I always had on big clothes. <laughs> I stuffed the pockets deep. Hey, but I ain't doing it. My mama whooped my ass, though. Nice. Anybody else ever stole candy? I did. Oh. I have. <laughs> Absolutely. I, stole, I used to steal the bubble gum that looked like um snuff. What is it? You know what oh, I mean. Oh, no. no. 
the shredded bubble the gum big that looked like the snuff big from the baseball big player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big I used shoe. to steal that, and um, until one day my mom hit my hand so hard that it almost like it turned into fire, and it was red, and it was tingling. <laughs> So after that, I learned my lesson. But I didn't know any better. I just, she used to I say. I bet you she, learned that She used day. to say, you don't ask learn me the for day. nothing. So I didn't ask her. I just put it in my pond. I used to, um, I used to, um, damn, I be, damn, I be telling it. I, <laughs> okay. Stat, the statues are gone, man. They can't put you in jail. Yeah, but my mama yeah, might be listening. Yeah, I. Do you need plausible deniability? I ain't going to say the name of the store. In Jersey City, on on the corner of Ocean and yeah, the corner of yeah. where I used to live, but uh, you know when it was opportune, you know I might I might I might grab a a, a couple of blow pops, yeah, and, uh, maybe a Chico stick every once in a while, and the Reese's cups. The little joints, the little, the little Reese's yeah, cups, yeah, man, and whatnot, and uh, cause you're too small to eat the big ones. Yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't have told that story, but I just did. I know, I know, big sis over there, she she got some debauchery in her past, cause I know she got a sweet tooth, but she gonna act like she don't. You better make something up. I don't have to make anything up. Oh, okay, so you're a thief. <laughs> Like, oh, the so <laughs> like the rest of us, like the rest of us. Everybody that told their stealing candy story. Uh-huh. Well, I used to steal those little caramels. Yeah, those little square things. Jones that the grandma the have in the, no the Jones that the grandma got in the pocketbook at the church. No, not the ones with that white <laughs> stuff in the middle. No, I ain't talk, I hate that. The little square ones. Yeah, yeah. 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 They used to have, to have them up on the counter. Them jokers would stick. The paper would stick to it, and then yeah. you would have to fuss at it. And then when you put it in your mouth, you constantly find yourself spitting out little pieces of plastic. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to Wawa and get me some. Oh, my Did goodness. Those at Wawa? <laughs> mm-hmm. Let me find out. Mr. 3375, I know you done did some gangster stuff when you were like three. I stole candy. <laughs> I stole the Snicker packs, the Three Musketeer packs. He stole the expensive joint, man. Yeah, but he had the sweet thing when he was young. Let me tell you, you was. I was Mister, I was Mister Hustle Man in school, so I stole the candy and sold it at school. Yeah. Do what you gotta do, baby. Yeah, I I was the candy man at school, so hey, I came up. Word. You know I got to pick on you, right? Because you the most preacher sounding candy thief I ever heard in my. I stole candy. <laughs> you sound like Martin Luther King stealing candy. <laughs> so, so Ashley, you ain't never stole no candy. I, honestly, honestly, God, I have not. I can tell you the one time I did steal, I was I think in the fifth. I had to been in the fourth or f- no, uh, the fifth grade. What'd you steal? Fifth grade, and I stole some lip gloss from Seven Eleven, and I felt so bad. But I mean, I knew I wasn't gonna lip take gloss. it back because lip gloss, actually, was I it popping? And no. got caught, and then I I did not get caught, but um, I, I just. I'm sorry. I mean, I just I never really got a thrill from stealing. I just yeah. I feel better. Paying for my stuff, I really, I really do. That's not where I get my rush. I rather drink. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was gonna fit. I thought she was gonna say like soda or something. She's like, nah, I just drink. <laughs> she said drink with a dramatic pause. Yeah, because I was waiting for something else. Crown Royal right now, like I'm finna. Take this down, but with the apple, with the apple for yeah. crack. But that just wasn't my that wasn't my thing. And I I remember that moment to a T. It wasn't me. My my friend at the time was like, "You should take it. It's easy. It's easy." And I was like, "What?" Up? But it just what wasn't you? my style. So that was you know fifth sixth grade. You know. You know what? I feel so bad. I feel so bad for saying this, but you know I'm gonna put myself on blast. Get I it, remember, girl. I do remember stealing one you. big full item, and that's because you just. Reminding me, I had somebody who peer pressured me, even though she was younger than me. And the crazy thing about it is, I don't even know why she peer pressured me because her mama had money and she had money, so I don't even know why she had me steal this. But back in the day, y'all at Regency at the Macy's, <coughs> they used to have the classics and the boxes on the floor, 
and you could just the open the box. Reebok Classics in the middle what? of the joint like a display you cup. Tra- you traded your shoes. Ain't no trade. We took them joints. I think we all. You take, you take this. I feel so bad. But that's. I was young, dumb, and I didn't know any better. And I swear, y'all, I wouldn't dare take anything because I hate for anybody to take anything from me. I didn't know any better. I was probably like in a. Eighth, ninth grade, but like I said, I don't know why she encouraged me to do it because my mama had money and stuff. And, and I, my family was middle class, so I really didn't have no business doing it either. So shame on me, shame on me. Shame but on anyway, shame on you. bro, shame. And I could, I never forget it. It was like uh, Hugo and I and George Wolf. Look, I went to Meadowbrook High School in Chesterfield, but they had the sweetest like homecoming games. So we. Everybody go to the city I took the classics and I threw them in my book break, bro. I mean, they didn't have any sensor joints on them because they was in the middle of the well, joint. Well, but not only that, back in them days, everything. I'm sorry, Lloyd. Did, did, you, no did you just do the... I'm sorry, Lloyd. Do, yeah. that, do that joint again. Yeah, we know what you You know, I, I, I apologize, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I just... Yeah. I don't know what got in bar- no, we we bar- the coworker he, we does know, that. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more thing that I... I, I, I was... Uh, I guess folks my age, early 40s, we were the generation who obsessed over going to the corner store to play video games. And so, um, yeah, if you had access to bulk quarters, you might get beat by Marcus J when he was about 12. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you, wait, can I, can I co-sign that, if you, if you had If you had laundry quarters, don't you leave him sure. around me. You yeah. were late. <laughs> I might have got hey, you. you know what? Why you made that point? I still got. <laughs> yeah, I was at. Watch I, yourself. I was at Mama House. Uh oh. And I was in her jewelry box, oh. just looking. You know, she just she got looking? sentimental stuff. Just looking. All right, just making sure. So what she had had in there was my old. Did you say my old quarter with the dental floss on it, with the hole in the oh, middle that you used to put the joint in there when and go snatch that joint and out? Snatch it back out. Yeah. See now, now you really <laughs> are telling. Your age. No. You definitely telling your age. For those folks that don't know what the hell he talking That's about. That's a dollar. Imagine back in the day when you actually had to leave your house to play PlayStation. They had PlayStation at the at corner the store. Laundry at mat. the laundry mat. What? And all of the games cost a quarter. You couldn't play a video game like Pac-Man and Galaga and all of that kind of stuff. And what Joe is saying is some folks would be smart enough to take a quarter and drill a hole in it and put a string on it. Because if you put a quarter in... What the quarter actually did was when it went in, it hit a sensor. And when it hit the sensor, that's how the video game knew that you paid and you were able to play. Well, there were some folks who figured out is that if you put a quarter on a string and you figure out how long you need that string to be, you put the quarter in, you wait for it to hit that sensor, and then you pull the quarter out with the 